Today we are reaching the pinnacle of laziness. I'm going to be going through a list of passive money making methods. These are money making methods that require the least amount of work humanly possible while still paying off with some serious profits. Of course, you're not going to make as much with this as you will with a active money making method, but this is a great way to supplement your income. And I think my game is crashing. There we go. Also, before we get into this video, uh, we are super close to 1.5 thousand subscribers. Can we hit that uh, soon after I post this? That goal is probably completely unrealistic, but most of the people who watch my videos anyway aren't subscribed, so uh, <laughs> let's go for it, I guess. All right, so starting with the most obvious passive money-making method, it's going to be the minions. Um, you want to unlock as many minion slots as you possibly can. In previous videos, I had people complaining that I said the uh, requirement to be considered mid-game was 20 minion slots. It's really not that hard. You get five for free at the community center, and then all you have to do is just like upgrade a bunch of minions to tier five and you have it. Now, the best minions for long-term passive income are going to be the snow minions, the clay minions, and then tarantula minions. Uh, but tarantula minions are incredibly expensive, so I do not have any setup right now. But these are good because they are an NPC sell. You sell them to the NPCs in the hub. That means that the price of the stuff you're selling is never going to change. Sure, you could do a setup like I did after the enchanting update of entirely lapis minions. You'll be making more money, but the price is going to crash relatively fast. So all the money you would have just spent on creating this huge, bizarre money-making minion setup is going to be wasted. With snow minions or clay minions, you are guaranteed a constant rate of return on your investment. Uh, basically, you're guaranteed your money back and a set income. I didn't realize so many people did not understand this, but uh, there we go. So yeah, while minions have been beaten to death, this new uh, passive money-making method definitely has not. So here we are in the forge. Uh, oh no. As you know, you can use materials you get in the deep caverns to create items in the forge. I'm currently going for a titanium talisman. I grinded out all the titanium manually and I'm just getting it now. It's kind of ridiculous. But while you're grinding Heart of the Mountain XP, uh, you will be getting massive amounts of materials. Right now in Mithril alone, this would sell for around uh, six to 700,000 coins. But if I uh, plop it in the forge right here, we're gonna make a refined Mithril. This will sell for 1 million coins. I've instantly just generated 300,000 coins completely passively uh, by letting it sit here in the forge. I mean, it's not instant, it's gonna take five hours. Okay, first of all, I don't know why you can't buy Enchanted Mithril or Enchanted Titanium on the Bazaar. It makes absolutely no sense. Uh, but if you go to the Auction House, uh, you can pick up the required materials to make Refined Mithril or Refined Titanium. Or, frankly, any of these other uh, materials right here. You can make them in the Forge, and then you can sell them for a pretty decent profit, uh, either on the Bazaar or the Auction House. I think an exception to this is the uh, the fuel tank. I saw people selling this for the price of one enchanted coal block. Just why? But yeah, gold plates cost currently a million coins, and I think it costs 500,000 for all the raw materials. Uh, of course, if you're making the refined diamond yourself. So I think this one's pretty straightforward, but again, anything here as well. You could sell this for massive profit on the auction house. And it it's literally no work. All you have to do is walk up with the materials, uh, click whatever you're making, and that's it. So yeah, completely passive money-making method number two is gonna be forging stuff. All right, method number three is going to take advantage of two uh, new mechanics in the Dwarven Mines. I don't know if one of them is a new mechanic, but basically uh, you don't get AFK'd here. I don't know if it's like a bug or whatever, but I have not been getting AFK'd here for hours on end. Also, uh, when you're farming ghosts with other people, there's a mechanic called drop sharing. If one person gets a drop, like a sorrow or whatever, uh, everyone in an eight block radius of them will also get that drop. So if you can see where I'm going with this, uh, there's one spot farming ghosts where this works amazingly well, and I think that's right here. Uh, you just want to leave yourself... Uh, up on this thing and you can just literally afk right here of course you're going to need someone else to do this with but uh i can afk here indefinitely and i'm within eight blocks of where the other person will be standing uh we'll slap the mithril golem on of course the other person all they have to do is literally sit here um and hit ghosts it's 
it's not complicated. Yeah, if you're AFK uh, right there, that's definitely within range. I should really be doing this with a god pot on, but uh, I'm not. And then in this spot, um, especially, you can just sit here and spam a livid, and the ghost won't be able to kill you. So yeah, this requires someone who can farm ghosts reliably. But if you can do that and just leave uh, like an alt or have a friend like just sit up there, then <laughs> you can double your money uh, from killing ghosts or triple depending on how many people you have sitting in that spot. Again, this is completely passive for the person who is not grinding the ghosts. All you have to do is AFK and the ghosts also can't hit you there. So it's, it's a great money making method. All right, so these next two are similar, um, but slightly different, and both require the bizarre. All right, so I'm here in refined titanium. What material it is doesn't really matter, but we're gonna look at the graphs, and you can see that this graph is a sine wave. Or if you don't know what a sine wave is, uh, it, it goes up and down depending on what time it is, basically. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's gonna be in a couple hours from right now, it's the lowest point in the sine wave. If you want passive income, uh, that's gonna be more than uh, your bank interest. You wanna buy a lot of the material at the bottom of this wave. I'll probably have to put like a, an arrow up in editing because I can't move my mouse. Then, as you can see here, it takes around 12 hours and the price uh, peaks again. So. You buy at the bottom, sell at the top, basically. It's very simple. And all this is doing is taking advantage of uh, peak player count hours. And this is pretty simple. The only time refined titanium is sold is when people are online because they have to actually get it out of the forge. When there's no one online, um, like whatever, eight hours ago, the amount of refined titanium being sold to the bazaar is going to be lower, so the price will be higher. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much that. Um, this will give you way uh, more. This works out to being more than bank account interest. I guess we can, uh, we'll throw that one in there. Make sure to have your interest topped up uh, the entire time. You can get higher tier banks that can hold more and give you more interest. Yeah, it would take two years for the interest alone to uh, pay for the gold account. A uh, hundred weeks. So I would not call this a passive money making method. If you're only upgrading for interest and not for uh, max balance, then upgrading is probably going to lose you money. While the refined titanium goes up and down pretty much every day, uh, if we choose a resource that doesn't do that, um, for example, we will pick purple candy for this spooky festival. If we view graphs and look at 24 hours, we see that there's really not uh, that much price difference. But if we go to seven days, uh, the graph looks really weird. Uh, <laughs> so basically right at the end of every spooky festival, uh, we can see seven days ago and then two days ago, the price peaks and then it drops immediately afterwards. Basically what you want to do here is you want to buy um, a couple hours after the spooky festival when the price is at like, what do we see here? Like 4.6 thousand per. And then you want to sell right at the end of the spooky festival. That means you'll be making Right here at the first one, you would have made 1.1 thousand per candy if you bought like 10,000 candies. Yeah, right here you would have made 1.1 thousand coins uh, if per candy if you had bought and sold at the right time. Uh, if you did that with 10,000 candies, you would have just made 10 million coins. Uh, so it's that's definitely a very strong money making method. Of course, um, uh, wish we can actually see being done right here. There's a buy order for 39,000 purple candies in. Even if the price only rises by 600 uh, for the next spooky festival, which it's gonna rise by more, these things normally sell for like 5.9 thousand at the end of the spooky festival, uh, that would be a total profit of 23 million coins. So yeah, that's basically a longer term version of what I showed you guys with the refined titanium. So yeah, that's five passive money making methods. Uh, if if you want to make some extra money and don't want to do any work, uh, then these are the methods for you. But yeah, overall, solid methods. Um, if you enjoyed, hit that like button down below. Also, subscribe. Uh, on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.